Well, I'm here again at Creation Fest 2011, and today I'm here with Brian Peterson and Simon Lawrenson, both speakers at the festival. Brian's been with us since the very beginning, of course, and Simon's speaking here for the first time, although he's attended in the past. They're both uh, wonderful pastors, and would love to hear from you, Brian, a little bit about how Creation Fest has grown over the past 10 years. Yeah, well, this is our 10th year, amazingly. We started uh, with just a kind of a spontaneous outreach in Willacoon originally, um, just sort of overlooking the sea there and just reaching out really to any you know, kind of holiday makers, people that were in, in town that uh, <laughs> particular weekend. It was, it's, like I said, spontaneous, it wasn't really planned. But after we did it and we felt like there was a fair amount of success, we decided we'll do it again next year and invite the local churches to get involved. So that was kind of where we started. You know back in, that would have been 2002, and then um, it just kind of escalated from there, and we ended up uh, for seven years in Willacoon, and now this is our third year in Cornwall, and it's just amazing what we've seen happen, and the growth is tremendous, we're, we're really excited. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. Uh, the theme this year is Out of the Darkness and Into the Light, and I know that it's a wonderful message you gave this morning. Do you have anything to share on the theme? Well, you know, the... We're teaching through the epistle of uh, 1 Peter. And so that's kind of, you know, there's a couple of different things you could probably draw from 1 Peter. Suffering and glory would be one because the book deals a lot with that. But also, you know, um, we are called to, uh, you know, praise the one who's called us out of the darkness into his marvelous light. So, you know, that contrast I think is there as well. So um, I have to come up with these themes and things. So <laughs> that's what I came up with. But basically, we're teaching through we're teaching through first year. Excellent. And Simon, as a pastor, what's your heart for those who come to the festival? Well, you know, I'm I'm pleased that um, that Brian came up with, with first Peter and, and the idea of light because as I was looking at you know the section that I get to teach this week, um, I was I was thinking, here's Peter, who's like this old granddaddy of the faith, just relaying everything that he's been through. You know, he said at one point. You know, because we remember Peter as being this guy who couldn't pray, he couldn't wait, he always spoke before he thought, you know, he, he would never do things in the right order. And we give him a real hard time for it, don't we? And yet when he writes a letter, he says, pray, wait, think before you speak, yeah. and, and do this and do that. And you wouldn't almost get the sense that you're, you're gleaning wisdom from this old guy who really knows what he's talking about. He's talking to these guys that are in the midst of this dark place, yeah. and he's encouraging them to say, look, you guys are light because you've been given light. You're not light of yourself. Somebody's given you that light. And just because you're having a hard time isn't a good reason to go back into that darkness. Mm -hmm. right. Why would you do that? Yeah. And um, the, I think the thing for me is, is that we've been given this precious, precious opportunity to be light mm -hmm. where everyone, every, everywhere else is just complete darkness. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's, it comes across as very, very arrogant to say that. But you know, his, you, you look at Peter, and his guy who's walked with the Lord, you know, he's, he's, he's disappointed the Lord, you know, he's disappointed himself, and he's just coming alongside these churches who need encouragement, who need to be that witness and say, guys, stay strong. And I, I guess that would be my heart. Absolutely. I think encouragement is such a huge part of the festival, Brian. If you could share one encouragement with those who are watching today, what would that be? Well, you know, we're, as, as Simon just said, you know, we're, we're living in dark times and, and they're getting darker. And we need to stick together as God's people. We need to stay in the Word as God's people. We need to support one another, you know, pray, live by faith. You know, in the midst of the darkness, of course, um, that's the whole setting of the New Testament. Absolutely. You know? And so we're kind of just coming back around to sort of a New Testament type of an atmosphere. And yet, of course, um, the reason you need a light is because of the darkness. So it's not foreign for us as Christians to be light in the midst of darkness. This is the way it's always been. So, you know, as Jesus said, let your light so shine before me that when they see your good works, um, they'll glorify your Father who's in heaven. So that's what we want to do. We want to encourage the body. You know, we're doing two things here. We're reaching out to those who don't know Christ, and we saw plenty of people like that this morning, which I was so excited about. Yeah. And uh, But we're also wanting to encourage fellow Christians to just be strong in the faith, to stay in the Word, to pray, to just do those basic, you know, the fundamental things that make for maturity that will enable them 
during these dark times to be effective servants of Christ. Yeah. And Brian, you shared, of course, that one of the main goals of the festivals is to reach out to that community of unbelievers. Simon, you came to Christ, I believe, through an outreach like this. Mm -hmm. um, could you just share a little bit of your testimony and, and how that came about? Yeah, well, um, my my current wife now, we've been married for, uh, I've got to get this right, 16 years. <laughs> and, uh, Did you have another wife? No, I didn't have another one. <laughs> okay. Just one. Just, just to clarify, I was wondering that as well. <laughs> I knew that. But that was <laughs> <laughs> so, um, my wife and I, we were saved as a, as a result of this kind of outreach. Uh -huh. And um, we had been living that dark life. Yeah. You know, that, that lots of teenagers live. And um, we were presented with the truth, we were presented with light. And f for myself, for a long time, I'd been raised, raised in a Christian home, raised mm -hmm. in a church. I was trying to live that light of myself. Yeah. So I was trying to live the good Christian life, be good, go to Bible study, go to church, pray every day, da 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 da, believing that that actually would make me light, mm -hmm. would make me different. And um, I heard for the first time that actually it's not your light, it's someone else's, and that someone else is a savior who's rescued you yeah. and has given you his light because you don't have any light of your own. Yeah. And uh, all of a sudden, I came from a place of legalism to a place of grace mm. and liberty and freedom and being able to walk in a light that wasn't my own which was much more freeing and liberating and, and uh, just more joyful because it's so you know you, you're under bondage if you're trying to create something that isn't your own yeah and you're never created for that purpose right. um, and I, I guess that goes hand in hand you know we're created to yeah. radiant his light and it, so it's about Jesus whether we're Christians, whether we haven't met the Lord yet, it's about radiating His light, not trying to do something on our own effort. Yeah, absolutely. If you'd like to hear more about who Jesus is and that invitation to step out of darkness and into light, the festival runs through 12th of August, and we'd love to see you out here. There are main sessions in the Big Shed every morning and loads of workshops in the afternoon. So, Brian, Simon, thanks so much for being here, and we hope to see you at the festival.